Now in this tutorial, we're gonna be discussing a brand new feature within the New Zealand Lab platform and that is order bumps. Something that many of you, our members have been requesting as of recently. This will be a two part tutorial um, where we will be mainly focusing on order bumps. We'll also spend a little time with regards to upsells. Now before we get going and I show you exactly how it works within your admin side, let's get to the bottom of what exactly an order bump is. Now typically an order bump happens before someone clicks the buy now button. It's a feature that allows you, the vendor, to add additional product options to an order form for your customers to select. And typically, order bump products complement the original product and are much, much cheaper. Okay, so the difference between an order bump and an upsell, an order bump is before someone clicks on the buy now button on the checkout page, an upsell is after someone has completed their purchase and is normally on the thank you page. So we will be showing you a little bit with regards to the upsells later on in this tutorial. So for now, here we are on my checkout page. This again, as always, is a template, it's a concept. It will be the same, same, but possibly slightly different to your checkout pages within your admin side. But here I am within the pricing options you'll see straight away that we have the option up here to edit the order bump, okay? So we're gonna press on the edit order bump and we're gonna show you all of the different settings that you have now. So within the order bump itself, you have the course with an upsell that you can select. I'm just gonna keep it with that. You can change the title. So title, um, course with upsell, um, and let's just write in some, some blurb. Description, sub with trial. Uh, do it, do it, easy peasy. But again, you can just see how easy it is to, is to change. Um, so then we can save that. You can also change the image. I'm just gonna do a very simple, completely non-related image, but you can see this here. Now the styling, this is where it gets a bit more important because this is where you really want to be capturing your potential customer's attention. So we can change the border style. Um, now quite common is to have it dotted. Um, you can change the coloring. Um, you can go for any color you want. If you wanted to go for blue or for that. Around the border style. Uh, you've also got the um, uh, description, checkbox, the internal color, you can change the sizing of the text to make it a bit bigger. Uh, this is where it gets a bit fancier with the animation, so you can bounce up or in, up and down. So when they actually click on it, it's gonna be really capturing their uh, attention straight away. But again, as always, play around with this as much as you possibly can and get it to a point that you're really, really happy with it. Um, but in essence, this is how you can now add order bumps within your checkout pages, okay? And you can personalize this as much as you want and make it as, as attractive and engaging as you possibly want. But you can change all of the colors, the layout, you can customize it pretty much to its entirety, okay? So this is the order bump uh, feature that's just been added. Now, when the customer would have purchased, they'll then come through to the thank you page. And this is where you can now add in far, far more efficiently some more app upsells. So on the edit upsell button, you have the option here of adding in different upsell courses. Um, so I'm just gonna pick a dummy one here and you can change the payment plans. You can do all sorts of stuff that you can add in for your customers to try and upsell them on the final section of their checkout, okay? And again, of course, you can make it more animated, uh, bouncing in and out, but this just makes life a lot easier for you now for your order bumps and also your upsells. All of this now is customizable, so you can change it and edit it however you want. So within this tutorial, we've just shown you how to add the order bump, the uh, main reasons as to why you would be utilizing an order bump, and also the efficiently of now adding in and editing upsells within your checkout and thank you pages.